Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Hunt, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you a fresh perspective on things and how we see it. In today's episode, the topic is, should the Clippers and the Lakers play each other on opening night or on Christmas Day? So that's the topic I want to get into in today's video. But before we get into that, I want you guys to please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. And be sure to check out our Dreamers Pro podcast and subscribe to our Dreamers Pro Short Clip channel, which is linked in the description below. So let me just get straight into the topic here. So it turns out that the NBA is actually planning to come back much sooner than I thought. We were thinking, or at least I was thinking, that the season was going to resume sometime early next year. However, it turns out that they're aiming actually at starting again in December. Now, I had heard this before in the past. However, I didn't think such a quick turnaround would have been possible, you know, and um, I thought that the league just wanted to make sure that they got through this season, they got all all of their TV deal revenue, and then try to figure out a way to go about uh, starting next season. However, it looks like what they're planning to do is resume the season on December 25th. Now, according to a report um, that I'd read on ESPN, it looks like their target date um, is either is is just before Christmas day that's really what they're targeting right before christmas day it turns out that the league owners the team owners rather um and uh, previously they were a bit optimistic of having fans and you know have fan have having fans in attendance because it turns out that fans attending attending these games make up for over 40 percent of their revenue their overall revenue which was quite surprising i didn't realize that the fans was such a big uh, portion of the revenue but it looks like with the way the things are going with this um a global pandemic i'm not sure if these teams are going to be able to find a way to get their fans into the seats before the season starts now if you look at other sports for instance um the number one spectator sport in the world in formula one these guys are sort of able to bring fans you know back into the stand so to speak but it's not like before and it's not as packed as it used to but the nba is a different kind of thing people are you know jumbled up together and then really they're all on top of the players so um i don't think that the league was able to come up with a solution quick enough so it looks like they're trying to ramp ahead and start up the season on christmas um you know christmas day now here are my first thoughts about that the first thing is as we're doing this video is october october 24th so depending on when you see this video anyway but we this video we're doing it on october 24th which means that november is just right around the corner i know they have the nba draft coming up so they're going to have the draft and then teams are going to essentially have to go back to training camp so all of the off-season moves and all of these things that generally would take you know time in the regular off-season these things are going to have to be expedited this particular season because it seems like the league wants to finish on time next year which is june uh, normally when the finals um, kick off and then they finish so it's going to be a quick turnaround but it's good because at least we, we, we get to get some nba basketball uh you know um you know rather quickly now before i go too far into this i want you guys to take a listen to a sound bite of brian windhorse talking about you know the season resuming um rather quickly and then i'll get into my other points so just take a listen to that how realistic is it starting the nba season on christmas day clear your schedule I think there's a very strong chance that is going to happen. In fact, I think it's going to happen even before Christmas because you're going to not want to have ring night on Christmas Day. So I think there's a possibility that it could actually start slightly before Christmas. This is a big pivot from what Adam Silver was talking about just uh, less than a month ago at the finals when he talked about how he wanted to play an 82-game season with fans in the stands at all arenas. But as the situation has unfolded, the NBA owners have reevaluated. They realize how important Christmas Day is. And in their meeting today, they have made the recommendation to begin uh, on Christmas or slightly before with a slightly reduced season, uh, perhaps about 72 games, finishing uh, on time in uh, uh, you know, mid to late June and back on schedule for 21-22. Now, in that audio soundbite, you can see they sort of lay out the details and the reasons why uh, the league wants to go ahead with this restart and listen to Brian Windhorst talk about talk about it. Um, it, it. It was a bit surprising, but nevertheless, I'm excited to hear this news. Now, let's move over to the part about the Clippers and the Lakers. As you all know, last season, we had opening night. It was the Clippers versus the Lakers. It was the big buildup between the two L.A. teams. 
the Battle of Los Angeles is when Kawhi Leonard was making his debut with the Clippers. Anthony Davis was making his debut with the Los Angeles Lakers. And it was really exciting. He dropped his New Balance commercial. And it was a great game. The, the Clippers ball, Kawhi Leonard balled, and they won the game. And then their next meeting was on Christmas Day. Now, Christmas Day is a very, very, very important day on the calendar. And for instance, if you look at Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is a very important day to the NFL. So the, the NBA wants to make sure that they're on TV that day. And they want to make sure that they have their biggest draw, their biggest game that generates the most interest on that particular day. And for me, I think the number one uh, game, uh, the number one matchup, let's say that's going to draw the most interest is always going to be the Lakers and the Clippers. For me, it's a good idea. It's a good chance for us to see kind of like this rematch, because remember, they split the regular season series when they played against each other last season two two. the Clippers took the first the first two games that was on opening night. One when they played with uh, one when they one when they played without Paul George, the other they did. And then they dropped the next two, one right before the season closed because of the global pandemic. And then the final one, which was in the NBA bubble, which was the last one that they dropped. So they split the season series, given the fact that these two teams never met in the playoffs. Right. And the whole season was sort of building up to that. And the Clippers fell short because they ended up losing uh, to the Denver Nuggets, dropping a 3-1 lead in a very disappointing way. And then the Lakers ended up going going up against the Nuggets and beating them because they were just a better matchup because they had better size, um, especially in their center position to deal with Nikola Jokic. It was a better matchup for them. Nevertheless, they beat the team that the Clippers couldn't beat. However, a lot of the odds makers and a lot of you know analysts, including myself, everyone picked the Clippers uh, to win the championship. And if you pick the Clippers to win the championship, most likely you pick them to beat the Lakers, who are most likely going to be in their way, but they never got a chance to meet. So for me, I'm not saying that if the Clippers play the Lakers and they win on Christmas Day or you know on opening night, oh my God, the Clippers are going to win the championship. No, I'm saying that I think this game is going to be the one that uh, creates the most interest and people are going to be clamoring to watch and certainly i am because i think it's going to be a great uh sort of rematch and to get the discussion going again and to get the nba juices flowing with you know people you know <laughs> you know picking sides and saying Kawhi is the man lebron's the man ad is the man so for me i definitely think that if the nba is going to open you know a few days before christmas or on christmas i think the open the opening night game should be the Lakers versus the Clippers, and I think if not, they should definitely make sure that the night when the Clippers um, on Christmas night it should be the Clippers and the Lakers that play each other on those on that night because I think it's going to be their biggest game of the season. So, what I want to know from you guys is quite simple. Number one, what do you think about this new re, uh, season restart that it could potentially be starting up in December? Do you think that's too quick of a turnaround? Um, would you would you have preferred if the NBA waited a little bit longer and figured out a way uh, for fans to be able to attend the game? Uh, let me know your opinions on that. Number two, do you agree with the two teams that I'm picking to play each other on Christmas Day? Do you think it should be the uh, the Clippers and the Lakers, or maybe you may think it should be a rematch between the NBA Finals of the Miami Heat and the Los Angeles Lakers? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro, wishing you guys an amazing day. Peace.